hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video i will show you how to download climate hazardous infrared precipitation with station precipitation or rainfall data of any study area in excel format let's go open your browser and type climate engine.org now from the browser interface click on the first search result climateengine.org empowers users of all technical proficiencies to harness the power of cloud computing to analyze decades of earth observations data therefore in order to download the precipitation data from these sites you have to have an account or sign up for free to do this click on launch the app wait for a moment now the climate engine app is a no code solution for on-demand cloud computing and visualization of climate and uh, satellite earth observation data you have to sign up it for free if you don't have an account for this case i have an account therefore i will sign in with my google account wait for a moment now this is climateengine.org interface we have two options make a map and make graph i will show you how to make a graph for this purpose there are different search criteria the time series calculation is the native time series and i'm going to download only one variable which is a precipitation the region will be selected by using pointers therefore by clicking on the upward arrow there are about four ways to update the marker on the map the first one is dragging the marker on the map to the area of interest you can drag for example just like this to your interest area and download the data the second option is by geolocating the marker that means by typing the city and uh, searching for it less for hawasa when i click enter here the marker is geolocated you can also cross check by using the coordinate for the marker the latitude and the longitude for Hawasa is 38 degree east and 6.7 degree north now the type of variable is the climate and hydrology the data set is i'm going to download the trips or climate hazardous infrared precipitation with the station of a 4.8 kilometer resolution on a daily basis the variable is the precipitation and the unit of measurement is millimeter you can also select inch the computation resolution or scale of the data is about 4800 meters and the, the time period is by using the custom date range i will type any date of interest for example let's say from 2000 or january 01 to the last date or december 31st now click on the get time series wait until it processes the request is processing this competition takes 
may take a couple of minutes therefore you have to be patient now this is the graph or the figure of precipitation with which is the trips precipitation for Hawassa from 2000 to 2024 now you can go to the download you have different options to download this data downloading as png image or as gpeg image you can also download this data as pdf format now let's download this as xls format or in excel format you can also download it as csv format the download request is completed now open your data climate engine do you want to open it anyways you have to trust the site yes therefore this is the final data that i have downloaded from climateengine.org or the precipitation data for Hawassa from 2001 to 2000 to 2014 on a daily basis therefore before using this data you have to cross check with the uh, meteorological stations it is recommended if you like the video don't forget to subscribe comment and share the video